Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. If you are using Google Translate, just to let you know if you were unaware that Google has recently started rolling out a new feature that now lets you translate images on the web using Google Translate Online. And this was recently announced a couple of days ago on the Google Translate Help Forum by Google. Now, the main difference between using Google Lens and the new Google Translate Images feature is that Google Lens only translates online images, whereas this new um, Images um, feature now with Google Translate lets you translate images stored locally on your actual device and your hard drive and your PC. So that's the, the difference between Google Lens Image Translate and Google Translate's new um, translation feature now for images. Now, just to um, demonstrate, if we click on the tab images, just take note, you can only upload at this stage a JPG, JPEG or PNG image. Click on the tab, browse your computer and you head over and find and locate the image you want to translate. Click on open and that will take a couple of seconds to actually get the translation done as we can see and then you can obviously choose, choose your preferred language and once again that's now busy translating and here's just the text taken from that image just to demonstrate for the purpose of today's video and once you're done you can actually copy that text and you can also download your translation for future reference so let's just call that number one let's click save that's downloaded it to my local pc and here we go here's my saved image which is a png file at this stage open that and there we go there is now a saved um, image of the actual translation so just letting you know in case you were unaware that that new feature now being able to translate images on the web has now started rolling out to uh, the google translate online so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one